Yes. Hi. I'm glad you're feeling it. I'm working as hard as I can because I know that somewhere out there there's a man sitting there going, I had no idea. <laughs> I love that. So, uh, wow, I'm really amazed by all the people that have not been to see us. That's crazy good. That means I'm making a connection. I hope, I pray, that somewhere out there, somewhere I can make it. You know, that's why I do what I do. It used to be so much about, you know, the show and the show this stuff. And it's like an HBO special for a while, you know, you get so used to what you're doing and you do it the same way every day. And all of a sudden something happens to your life and you go, oh my God. I didn't know how much I needed you until all you were all I had. We got married in a fever. I was 45-ish. That's a miracle. I had loved this man since I was 25 years old. He and his band Highway 101. They opened for Mama and me back in the 80s. And honey, I'm going to tell you something. I was 25 and I was smitten. That man had a mullet. Woo! He was wearing chaps when he walked in that room that day. I'll never forget it. And everything went black. And this one, I just heard it. The next thing I know, I'm following him around, and my mom was going, oh, hell no. So, we missed an opportunity, because, you know, I was working with her, and she was the boss. I know, I had to wait 30 years, we finally ran into each other again, and then we got married, and now here we are in Illinois together. Yes, we are here. So I guess what I'm trying to say is those 10 years with her were just the beginning. And they were so easy compared to what I deal with now. <laughs> the true diva. You're looking at him. He's still got the business in the front. Right? So we're making a record together because you're, you're the king of my heart. I know that much. And so we're going to do some songs about it because you know it's all about you. And the fact that you survived, because uh, three months into our marriage, what I was saying about not knowing what life is going to bring is he lost his left leg. He was in a motorcycle wreck. And uh, now he's my bionic man. And his left hand got crushed, and so they said he would never play drums again. Can you imagine not being able to walk or talk or do anything? You were out for a long time, and I was the, the nurse. And we made it together, and it bonded us for life. Because when you go through hell like that with somebody, it makes or breaks you, right? So, so here we are, and we are. You gotta, you gotta live the blues to sing about them. I'm just saying.